There are a lot of Canadians stranded abroad due to coronavirus. After calling for Canadians to return home last week, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said today that he's been in talks with WestJet and Air Canada about repatriating Canadians abroad. As we said, uh, we're going to work very, very hard uh, to bring Canadians home. It's time for Canadians to come home from around the world. Uh, we recognize that that will be a challenge. That's why uh, we sent out a text message to all Canadians overseas uh, with information on how to share their situation and get in touch uh, with consular services. Uh, I spoke yesterday with the heads of uh, our two large airlines, uh, WestJet and Air Canada, uh, to talk about how we can work with them to ensure that there are flights to bring bring Canadians home. Uh, we will continue to respond to the overwhelming uh, demand by Canadians for support. Uh, we will be there to help them and get home as many people as we possibly can uh, in the coming days and week. Many travellers have either cancelled their trips or started to return home, but there are still several reports of Canadians being stuck abroad with no way home. Will those Canadians be able to return soon? Mark Williams is the president of Sunwing Airlines. He joins us from Toronto. Hi, Mr. Williams. Thanks for making time for us. Thank you for having me. I was just thinking, preceding your interview, that normally, and especially now, I don't get to do many interviews about some good news, but your company made a pretty significant announcement today when it comes to repatriating Canadians. Can you outline it for our viewers? Yeah, so we've been uh, repatriating people since the 16th of March uh, and we'll continue to do repatriation flights until the 23rd. Uh, recognizing that we have empty seats on the flights, we decided today to reach out after uh, the Prime Minister's announcement that people are stuck to offer uh, free seats uh, to any other passengers who can get on our flights after we've um, put all of our customers on. So what do you anticipate about, uh, if you can help quantify it for us a bit, how many people do you think you might be able to help? Well, it's hard to say at this point. We're still, we've had, uh, we had 75,000 people or more in destination. We're about halfway through bringing them back. Uh, as we get through the end of our program, we had a lot of no-shows on, um, on flights going out. So there's more room on those uh, flights coming in. But to be honest, I can't tell you how many seats or how many people we'll be able to accommodate. And just so for the viewers who are watching right now, because actually CBC is being offered, uh, being made accessible to Canadians and, and people outside of Canada right now, it's normally difficult to, to bring the app up or to bring the live stream up, but they are watching now. If they want to be able to access this, what should they do? Should they head to Sunwing's website? Yeah, so go to the website and check, uh, check our flight schedule there. Unfortunately, our phone lines have been inundated with other people making uh, changes to their travel plan, so it's very difficult for people to reach on the phone. Uh, so we really strongly encourage people to go onto our website. Uh, if they see there's a flight in their particular area, to head to the airport about three hours prior to the flight. And if there's any room available for them on the flight after we've loaded all of our customers, we'll accommodate them and bring them home. So let me ask you, Mr. Williams, as the president of an airline, have you ever seen anything like this? This is by far the biggest challenge this industry has ever faced. And we've gone through a lot of adversity over the years. Uh, but... Um, in essence, right now, the entire industry is uh, almost grinding to a halt. What happens to Sunwing? We've seen announcements from other airlines about suspending their operations, let's say, until April 30th or until June. What is the plan for Sunwing? So our first focus right now is on getting everyone back. So we're doing these repatriation flights until uh, Monday the 23rd. After that time, we do plan to take a, um, a short uh, break from flying, a, a temporary suspension of service. Uh, we're hoping to be up and running uh, at the end of April or into May, but obviously that really depends on uh, how long this virus uh, is around. So we're planning on now suspending operations for a period of time and, and then getting ready to get back up and running again when the time is right. I know it's difficult to sort of assess the uh, potential impact given that we don't know, that it's so fluid really, and we don't know how bad the, the health side of things is going to get. But we have seen some estimates um, from other airlines about uh, the impact to their bottom line. And I'm wondering from your perspective uh, how big it is. Well, I'm not going to get into the numbers here, but clearly this is a, a global issue and then it's a Canadian issue. Uh, every airline in Canada is facing these problems. Uh, I've seen the government uh, providing support to individuals. I applaud them for doing that. That's the, their first priority and it should be. Uh, now that we're looking after people and making sure they're safe and secure, I think one of the next things the government should focus on is providing a support package for the industry to make sure that 
we're all here and around uh, when this is over to continue doing what we did before. Let me ask you a bit about that because we had the uh, former transport minister, David Colinette, on the other day. He was the, the minister when 9-11 happened. And of course, your industry uh, ended up taking a huge hit then as well. Uh, at the time, he said they decided, I mean, they did offer help for the industry, but not direct aid, let's say, or quote unquote bailout for airlines. Do you think that might be necessary this time? Um, I think it will be. Certainly, the government has taken some steps already to put some liquidity into the banking system uh, to help uh, airlines and, and other companies. I applaud them for doing that. They've uh, announced programs through uh, BDC and EDC uh, that people are, are starting to access. My view is, with the aviation industry in general, that we're going to need a support package that goes beyond that. And let me just ask you, uh, circle back before I let you go, to the repatriation. Uh, you heard the Prime Minister say... And we've sort of been able to talk to people in the government who, who um, have told us that there might at some point and, and maybe some point soon be some sort of massive, more uh, centralized effort to get those Canadians home, that various airlines might, ha you know, on behalf of the government be deploying their, their flights. Have you had any conversations to that effect? And are you prepared to involve Sunwing in that process? We haven't yet, and we've been focusing on getting our customers back. Once we get through that on Monday, we're certainly open available to assist in any way we can uh, to bring uh, other Canadians back home to Canada. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Mr. Williams, I really appreciate your time this evening. Mark Williams, he's the president of Sunwing Airlines. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.